In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install a door handle like this. And we're gonna do it right now. So a friend of mine called me up and said, I have a problem, a broken door handle. And they bought this one and we're basically a little afraid to put it in. And I think this is the reason why. There's no hole for where this is supposed to go. I think that's the big hang up with these. And I figured, um, you know, he asked me if I wanted to do it. And I said, sure, because I'm sure there's other people that are a little nervous to do this. And I'm going to show you that it's real easy. These are pretty standard. This one's a quick set, but the process is the same for most of them. So let's get started. The first step would be to remove the old door handle, which it is already gone. You just take out the screws on the inside and on the side here. Take all that stuff out, including this little spacer they have there. And now we can open up the box and take a look at what we got for the new handle. So in the box with the door handle, you're gonna have this template. And what you wanna do is line up this dotted line. In this case, they're all kind of the same, but you wanna match that up to the edge of the door. And you wanna match up this hole to the center of the hole that is in your door. And there's two different, what they call back sets. This is two and three eighths to the center and two and three quarters to the center of your hole. Typically you'll have two and three eighths. You just have to match that up, kind of look at it like this, or you can measure from here to the center of the hole. I like to tape this in place. So that's what I'm gonna do. Hold this center line right here and tape the template in place. Put the tape like this so I can still see the line and hold this center of the hole. You can match up these marks over here. Down here, do the same thing. Hold that to the edge. Okay. Now just to show you, you take the handle and hold it here and the hole that you want to drill, in this case, is the center hole. So wherever that matches up, and again, in this case, it's a two and three eighths offset. So it's this line closest to the edge of the door. Right here is the center of that hole. Just make sure you're marking the correct one. I'm gonna take a nail, this is a finish nail, and just make sure you're going to the right hole or the right mark and I'm just going to give it a little tap so I'll be able to tell where that is and I'm not going to drill it yet I want to double check I'm going to take this off and you can just barely see it so that if it's in the wrong place I can make another mark I'm going to mark that right there with an X just so you can see it all right so here's the mark I made and I was wondering when I matched this up, why it didn't line up. And I just noticed back here, something that I've actually never seen before is this is adjustable. I don't know if they do this for all of them now, but this is very cool because um, if you have one with a, a hole already drilled, you're not gonna have to patch that hole in and make a new hole. You can just adjust this to where it needs to be. So if this does not move, on whichever handle you got. Make sure you measure from the center here. One of these things is the center to here and just make sure you're doing the right hole here. Measure from the top down. Make sure you're getting the right one. But this one, like I said, is adjustable, which is very nice. I'm gonna show you one more way to double check this. Just because I like to overthink things, we're gonna check this out. And who knows, people like to do things all different types of ways. I'm gonna put a piece of tape right here where the hole is. And then I'm gonna mark the sides. So the edge is right there so I can see where this is. And this edge is right here. And then 
I got a nice easy read tape measure for you where it actually says the fractions. And I'm gonna measure this. So this hole is two and an eighth. So I made my mark right at one and a sixteenth. That is dead center. Now I'm gonna take a two foot level, hold it on that line and make sure this is plumb. Get that bubble right in the center and make a mark down here. And now I know that that is gonna be perfectly plumb. That's really close to the hole, so that's good. So we're good to drill that hole. So this door is metal. Uh, if this was a wooden door, I would recommend putting a piece of painter's tape here and then drilling the hole. That might help with uh, splintering of the wood and use, use a really sharp drill bit. A new dr drill bit would help. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a pilot bit, the smallest bit widthwise that I can use that will go all the way through the door. This one is a 760 fourths. So I'm gonna use this and drill from one side, hold the drill completely level and just get it right out the other side. I'm gonna take that nail again and make an indent like that. That'll prevent the drill bit from wandering. And now I'm gonna take my drill bit very carefully, hold the drill completely level and drill this hole. Now this is where it's important to be level and straight. And I wanna go through the other side. Nice and easy. All right, got my hole drilled. And as you can see on this side, the metal kind of pushed out this way. And this is the reason I wanted to go through with a pilot bit first, because now I'm gonna go back and drill this hole from this side and then from this side. So then I'll have two holes that look like that, nice and flat, and I won't have all this metal sticking out. That's not 100% necessary. It's gonna be covered. It's got plenty of coverage here, but just a good thing to do to have it nice and clean. Okay, now we can drill the hole big enough for this. They actually recommend 7 sixteenths, which I think is a little big. I'm gonna go with 5 sixteenths to start, and you can always drill a bigger hole. You can't always make a hole smaller. So I'm gonna do it with this and see how it goes. Again, a nice sharp drill bit is the way to go here. Once this goes through, it could catch. So just be sure that if it does, that you stop drilling right away. Like that. Especially if you have a dull drill bit, what can happen is it can catch on the metal and push out the other side basically without drilling through it. And then you'll have a big bubble on the other side. So that's the only thing you want to be careful with. But if you have a sharp drill bit, you should be good. I'm gonna hammer this metal in carefully. So I have something flat to sit on my bit and I'll drill this. Go nice and slow and let the drill bit do the work. And we're through. Easy. All right, hard part is done and wasn't even that hard. So to put this door handle in, first thing I wanna do is, I'm actually gonna put this spacer back in because it's gonna look nicer. We wanna put this bolt in like this. Now if you have, uh, the bigger back set, the two and three quarters. You push this little pin right here and you can adjust this, but this door has the two and three eighths. So that goes in just like that. Make sure this bevel goes towards the outside where the door is gonna close. 
And then you can use a regular screwdriver if you want, but I'm gonna use a screw gun and get these short screws in. Now you wanna make sure that this piece matches up with this piece here. There's a half moon and it's the opposite right now. So you just pull out on this piece and turn it and it snaps back into place. And then it'll go through the middle there. Make sure you line up your pin at the bottom. And now that's in. I'm gonna take this screw that they give you and this little plastic piece goes like this. And you might have to wiggle this around just to figure out where it is. And always start these by hand. Now on this side, just make sure you're happy with where this is because you will be able to adjust it a little bit, especially if you do a bigger hole or if you have the adjustable hardware like this one has. That looks good right there. I switch to a hand screwdriver here. Tighten that up by hand. I want it snug, but not too, too tight. Now the door handle comes off like this and you pull this piece of paper and this trim pops off and you can take that paper off and I'll just match up that half moon again it goes just like that you can install these screws again start them both by hand and tighten these down now you can pop that trim piece back on like that. And some handles give you an option where the handle can be like that or the handle can be like that. And I think this is pretty standard. Let me know what you think. And then to attach that handle, there's a little Allen hole right here it comes with an allen key and you can just tighten that up now i'm going to switch out the strike plate and don't want to forget the little decorative button on the bottom you want to put it so this notch goes towards the bottom if you ever have to take the knob off you can pop it off that way just pops right on, we can test it. Nice, latch is good. All I have to do is replace the deadbolt and I'm all set. So if you needed to install a door handle like this, I hope this video helps you out. Maybe you learned some things. Let me know in the comments below if you did. And if you wanna see more videos like this, you can click hereish and hereish and check those out. If you haven't subscribed yet, definitely consider it. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.